What's up, Fisher and Fanatics? So check it out. I'm feeling a lot better, finally. Um, things are going pretty well. And I came downstairs into the fish room the other day. Yesterday, actually. And, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can catch any of them here. There you go. We finally have some multi-fry. Uh, it took forever, but they are there now. They're all hiding in the shell. I know there's at least at least six of them right now um you've seen two just there one took off into the shell already this one's a little more outgoing so he's out a bit more but um there's still some in the shell as well that's kind of their defense mechanism is they take off into the shell as soon as they see a presence or they feel threatened at all and you can see the parents are kind of just chilling out making sure everything's okay and nothing happens to their baby base um but yeah they're they finally bred and we finally have fry in here. Only took forever in a day. But we have them, which is all that matters. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, been waiting on that for a long time. Way back when the channel first got picked up, this was the surprise tank forever. This is what I had planned on getting forever. And um, specifically because they do tend to breed and they're shell dwellers, which means they move the sand around. They're just a really cool species. Um, for those of you that don't know what they are, they're called Neolamprologus uh, multifasciatus. And there's different varieties of the uh, Neos that you can pick up. There's Bichardis and, and other things as well. But um, a lot of them tend to be similar to these. They have uh, the Bichardi especially. Um, they're a little bit bigger though. So that definitely works. But you can definitely see these guys are, are a lot more uh, aggressive right now because they have the fry in there. And they all kind of took off back into the shell stirred them up a little bit. I'm trying to get an angle. There's a couple of them out. You can see two of them, three of them. But yeah, there's quite a few of them. They're all hiding out in the shell right now. Parents are extremely protective of them, which I don't blame them. And it's nice to see. Um, but like I was saying, these are sand dwellers. They do move around the sand a lot. They escaped this. I did not. This is how they decided to do the tank. There's quite a bit of sand in here, and even with there being that much sand, they still dug all the way to the bottom. Um, which is really cool, because they're always terraforming the tank. It, it changes pretty much daily. There's always something that's different. But yeah, it's just really cool to see these guys. So, I figured I'd bring a quick update on that and show you guys what was going on. I mean, there's quite a few of them, like I said. There's, they're just sw out swimming around. One just took off under the shell. There's two more there. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. We got them finally. They finally uh, decided to spawn, and that's really about it for those guys. If you haven't already, check out some of the other videos we have on the channel. There's quite a few. Um, and do us a favor, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Let's get some more people in the fish keeping hobby. And as always, happy fish keeping.